Hi, my name is Alex Pluto and this is Package Money. Google Home is a voice assistant similar to Amazon Alexa, but working with Google services. It has a lot of built-in integrations, but what's interesting for us developers that we can build our own programs for it. Google calls them actions. In this video, we will build an action which will help user to get air quality of the city user is located in. It's not necessary to have Google Home device to be able to build this action and test it. Google has a very nice simulator. However, I have device here, so I will show you how to test it using Google Home after we build our application. Google Home actions are using dialogue flow to set up conversation flow using natural language understanding. Previously, it was called API.ai. And we will build a simple backend API, which we will deploy to Google Cloud Platform. Let's start. We have to log into dialogflow.com with our Google account. And we should go to console to create our first application. So what we need to do, we need to click create agent and give it a name. Let's call it air quality. There are two ways to start to talk to Google Home. Explicit invocation and implicit invocation. In explicit one, application will be triggered when we say to Google talk to action name. However, in implicit invocation, you can set up your intent, which will trigger application to start. To make this video simpler, we will just go with explicit invocation. We need to know user's location to get information about air quality. So first thing we need to do, we need to ask user for this permission. We will need to send specific response to Dialogflow and Google Home will ask user for this kind of permissions. As you can see, Dialogflow already created two default intents for us. One is welcome intent. Let's go and modify it so it will ask user for location permission. First of all, let's rename it to just welcome. And then we need to enable fulfillment and enable webhook call. So when this intent is triggered, it will call our API. We will define it later. And it will send us this action input welcome, I would just rename it for location as it makes more sense for us. Save. Let's see what the default intent is. Fallback intent will be triggered when Google Home doesn't understand user. In this case, we can simply reply, I don't understand you, can you try later? And etc. Let's rename it to just fallback. And there are some responses. And I'm, I'm okay with them. Let's just set it as end of conversation and save it. Now let's define the main intent to get air quality index. Click create intent. Let's give it a name get. This intent will be triggered when a user granted permission to location. It's not triggered by any word. So we need to fill events list and it has specific name, actions, intent, permission. Let's set the action, which will be sent to our backend API to get information. I will call it get. And it will be end of conversation. So we mark this flag. And we should also enable webhook call. And click save. All right, as you can see, we have three simple intents. All right, we are almost done with configuration. Now let's see how we will call our backend API and from where. Let's go to fulfillment and see which options do we have. The first one is to call webhook. It will be a post request from Dialogflow with action and uh, all information we need. And second option is to write Node.js code in this inline editor powered by cloud functions on Firebase. We will go with first one as we will deploy our Go application to Google Cloud, so we will have endpoints. Let's enable it. And I will put URL later. We don't have application yet. I already have Google Cloud project created and Google Cloud SDK installed on my machine. 
Let's start with defining app.yaml file, which we need to provide for Google Cloud. So runtime is go, and API version is go1. Now let's define our endpoints. We will have only one. So with URL, root URL. And script go up. Now let's create simple API, deploy it to Google Cloud, and see if it works. For this, I will create app.go file, package app, func init. Now let's define HTTP handler function. It will be on slash URL. You will call this function handle. And now let's define it. Let's define writer first, response writer, and request HTTP request. You'll just simply print something to response writer. So f print w. All right, simple as possible. Let's go and deploy it to Google Cloud. So I use Google Cloud command line tool and uh, we call it app deploy. Yes. All right, this is because it's not .yaml, it's yaml. Let's try again. Yes. You can see our project, so here will be our endpoint. Great, so our application is deployed. Let's let's make some requests and see if it works. All right, it works. Now let's add some more logic to our application. Dialogflow will send two different types of requests to one endpoint. And we need to parse this request and be able to find which request is sent. We will use action parameter there. So first of all, I will define dialog flow request. I already prepared dialogflow.go, which includes some dialog flow types, so we don't need to type again. So here is request. Oh, sorry. Dialog flow request. And now let's parse our request. So we can use JSON new decoder from request body decode f request. All right, the content is undefined, it should be like this. Now let's check if There is no error and request dot result dot action is equal location. So what we defined in our welcome intent, we will call one function. And if action is get, we will go here and get results for user. Otherwise, we can send some basic error back to Google Home. So in this case, we can use JSON new encoder and code. And I already have a type dial dialog flow response. And here we have a property speech. Here we will say, sorry, please try later. Basically, we'll need to do return here, so our fallback is not executed, of course. And let's define two different functions, one to handle location request and one to handle get request. So let's call them handle location 
and handle get and let's call them from our if statement so handle location by the way what we need to parser let's pass everything we have so writer request and dialog flow and same is here except it's handle get all right so we pass same two arguments probably we will need them let's see later and dialog flow request which is dialog flow request and same will be here in handle location function we need to send specific response to dialog flow so dialog flow will ask user for location permission now we will set the permission name and all questions we need to provide to dialog flow so i will start with sending some response and i already have specific type prepared dialog flow location response let's see what we have here in our response we have a speech we have a data we should set some specific values for our properties so for speech we should say placeholder for permission and let's set other properties so data is dialog flow response data and here we have google as dialog flow response google and what properties do we have expected user response we set as true is ssml is false and one more is system intent is dialog flow response system intent intent is actions intent permission and one more property is data is dialog flow response let me just copy from here so here we should set type and type is specific Google permission string so I just already have it copied and prepared you can find it in the code later and we need to set opt context it's a message we can define so Google Home will ask why we need for this permission why our application requires this so we can tell something to get air quality index and one more this one is permissions is a slice of strings and in our case the permission name is device precise location great so here is response we need to send to google so Google Home will ask for user permission. Now let's see what we can do in handle get function. In this function we need to receive user coordinates and then send it to air quality index API. I already prepared aqicn.go file which contains some API calls so we're using waqi.info to get data by coordinates. So basically we just call this function. What we need to check now we need to get uh, user coordinates from dialogflow request so we will have these coordinates in dialogflow request dot original request dot data dot device dot location dot coordinates and let's call aqicn get air quality by coordinates what we need to send here we need to send request there and coordinates let coordinates longitude 
Great. It will return us integer string and error. So integer is index of air quality, then description and error. Now let's check if error is not new. We need to return some default error message. It can be the same. Just modify a little bit. Sorry, couldn't get air quality index. Please try later. All right, in case we have index in description, let's return it also to user. It's a very similar response, but here we will have a successful message. So, sprint F. So the air quality index in your city is number right now and let's also add description. So pass index and description string. Do we have description here? Alright, seems we have our two handlers, one is for location, so we will send back some specific response to Dialogflow to ask for permission, then when permission is granted, uh, Dialogflow will send request here and we will get coordinates of user and call air quality service and then reply back some successful message. Let's deploy it to Google Cloud. Yes. It is deployed. Let's call our endpoint to see what response will be. Sorry, please try later. It's because we didn't send any action. Let's test from Dialogflow. So we copy this endpoint and we will go back to Dialogflow.com. And here is a place where we will use our endpoint in the webhook and click save. And now let's try this awesome simulator I was talking about. Let's go to integrations. As you can see here there are a lot of options you can try. We will go with Google Assistant. And here where we can set the explicit invocation and intent which will be executed first. So our welcome intent and implicit invocation. We will just skip it. So let's click test and continue. This simulator works with keyboard input and also with voice input. And if you have Google Home device connected with the same account you're using in Dialogflow, you can test in re real device. Let's go with simulator first and let's trigger our app by saying talk to my test app. All right, as you can see, we sent a location intent and then what Dialogflow does, it asks for location permission, street address. So let's just type yes. All right, so it sent location request, then it sent get request and we were able to get some numbers and some description. Our Google Home action is not public yet. But as I'm using the same Google account on my Google Home device and in Dialogflow, I can test it here. So let's try. Hey Google, talk to my test app. All right, getting the test version of my test app. To get city for air quality check, I'll just need to get your street address from Google. Is that okay? Sure. The air quality index in your city is 127 right now. Members of sensitive groups may experience health effects. The general public is not likely to be affected. 127. Later, I am planning to send this Google action for review, as I find this information really necessary for me as I am living in Asia. You can find the code for this application in GitHub package main repository. I hope it was interesting and helpful, so see you later.